start. So here I have the other BBB motor. Uh, this was sent in by BBB and this is the 3VR 2207 2650 KV. Uh, so thanks to 3B Hobby for sending the motor for testing. Thank you, appreciate it very much. So it comes in this pretty nice box, kind of fancy. And they give you some stickers. Already put one there. And pretty well uh, 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 protected. Uh, the motor comes with this uh, nice dense foam and some nice uh, high grade uh, mounting screws and two night locks for the motor. Uh, the look of the motor, uh, the way the spokes are, pretty similar to the 2407 that I recently tested. Uh, similar configuration with the naked bottom. Uh, the only different thing is that this one does have a different shaft. It's not a. They're not using the one piece uh, titanium shaft. Uh, this one has uh, integrated. Uh, aluminum shaft with the bell and it's kind of like a hybrid shaft there's also uh, an insert there which is part of the uh, part of the motor shaft All right so let's see what the motor weighs with uh, 110 millimeters of wire that's how it comes from the factory so that's 33.8 grams if we cut the wires to about 50 millimeters we would get rid of that much wire 1.5 the motor weighs in at 32.3 grams pretty decent weight for this size motor 2207 should be a good option for uh, you guys that want to get a, a light uh, quad with a lot of power 2207 is a good motor alright so here's the motor up close and uh, as you can see pretty pretty well made motor uh, nice uh, thick base with the protecting uh, plastic sheath there and the uh, air gap not uh, overly tight but not too loose either and nice and chunky magnets there I didn't see any specs on the magnets so I don't know if they're N48 or N52 so let's uh, pull this apart They are certainly very strong magnets, so they almost feel like like N52. Pretty strong magnets, so it's hard to pull. So here's the uh, bell with the magnets. Pretty good density on the magnets. They're really nice and chunky. So the motor shaft, uh, I believe, is hardened steel. It doesn't mention if it's titanium on the on the product page and it's just partially hollow uh, to the point where it meets the the bell right there so that's kind of interesting because that that's a uh, that's a three millimeter shaft so that's three millimeter shaft and uh, as you notice it is uh, it, it extends all the way through uh, through the propeller shaft so it's kind of like a hybrid sh propeller shaft right there on the website it says that they did that to avoid uh, uh, the shaft from moving so so it's just pressed in and here's a stator uh, looks like they're using multi-strand wire so pretty pretty good uh, windings overall and uh, nice and beefy base and let's measure the stator height should be seven millimeters there we go seven millimeters on the stator height so no surprises there so overall a very well made motor so we'll put it together and see how it performs on the thrust stand
All right, so let's have a quick look at the results for the thrust test of this new motor from BBB, their 2207 2650. As you saw, the motor came in at a slightly higher uh, 2750 kV as measured by the thrust stand. And I went ahead and tested on 3S and 4S, uh, which were the voltages that would best match these uh, kV. For the thrust stand, that is, uh, I understand some people might be able to run this one on 5S, but uh, for the thrust stand, uh, that's what matches best. Uh, so testing the usual props, uh, 5045BN, this is an old prop, which I every now and then I still test because uh, I always get requests from people not to uh, get rid of this prop and just keep testing it. Apparently a lot of people still use it. Uh, so pretty decent trust uh, out of this motor at uh, 1400 grams at a very reasonable 37.7 amps uh, that's quite manageable and uh, I also went ahead and tested this new prop from Dow the C5040 by 3 and as you can see the prop doesn't show a lot of thrust but from what I understand when you fly this prop uh, it actually does perform much better than when it shows in the thrust stand. So for some props, actually, the thrust results don't reflect upon the uh, the actual performance, especially uh, for like the Genfan 5152 and some of these DAL props. They'll always show slightly lower than the uh, 5045 by 3 V2. Uh, so it'll have less thrust, but in reality, it's, it's actually a fast prop, but it doesn't do well on static. I mean, it does well, but not as one would think. So anyway, continuing with the props, uh, the 5045 43 by 3 uh, that one's another popular prop breaking the 1500 uh, grams with this motor so that's pretty respectable thrust and the amps are actually quite ma quite manageable keep in mind these uh, are a little bit exaggerated because of the static thrust in reality it's gonna be something like 35 or even 40 percent lower in actual flight and that's still gonna be burst so you you're only gonna see that uh, for a second or two, you know, at most, uh, when you punch out or do any of those aggressive maneuvers, uh, like a quick 180 or coming out of dives. Uh, so y always, I always mention it, these uh, amps are a little bit misleading because they'll show uh, like really high amps on my thrust stand. But, you know, that's, that's just how it reads it. Uh, I've used uh, other calibration on the on the amps on the amp meter on the current meter and it matches pretty well with the uh, power supply the amps that show on the power supply and another amp power meter that i use uh, uh, separately so so anyway that's that's what it shows uh, but you know i always say if you if you do the 35 to 40 percent uh, I usually say 25 to 35 to be conservative, so I guess you can do 35% lower and that'll give you what you expect to have as max in flight. Uh, so anyway, uh, continuing on with the props, as you can see the uh, motor is pretty much breaking 1600 grams with the more aggressive props and with the 6 inch prop uh, it uh, gets close to 1900. So overall uh, pretty pretty good motor as you see uh, very good results uh, ver very competitive I think uh, this 2207 is very competitive with the other top 2207 motors uh, so it's a motor to consider for your build if you're looking for a 2207 in this uh, KV this would be a good choice uh, then you decide if you the features that the motor has price and all that if that matches your requirements then this one's a good one for you all right so that's the test results for this motor and uh, thank you for watching and until the next video